Thank you very much, John and uh, Jung. Um, some rather sobering uh, projections there. <laughs> um, let, let, let us now turn to our first discussant. As I mentioned earlier, we are joined today by Dr. Marcelo Labre from the London Business School. Dr. Labre is currently a member of the faculty with the Emerging Markets Group at the London Business School. And he is also an advisor in energy investment and purchase transactions. Previously, Marcelo was the managing director with Standard Bank in London, where he helped develop the bank's carbon finance business through pioneering transactions, including some of the most innovative structured carbon deals in the market to date. His experience of more than 10 years in banking and finance includes positions with ING Bank in London and HSBC Bank in Brazil. Without further ado, I now turn over to Marcelo. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, Marcelo. Okay, so good morning, everybody, uh, and greetings from London. Uh, first of all, I'd like to, to thank uh, the IMF researchers uh, for producing such, uh, such a thorough report. Uh, in fact, it, this helps us a lot as academics uh, uh, to make our point in several of the, of the issues that, uh, that we see in the economy. So, having said that, I pointed out, actually spotted out uh, two very important statements that I, uh, I saw through, through the slides uh, previously. One was about tangible evidence of scarcity of oil since 2005, and it was shown in one of the slides. Now, what this means is basically peak oil, and this is extremely important and not as much mainstream uh, thought yet uh, uh, in, in the economy, and we're going to look into that through the, uh, 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 through the lights. Now, another very important uh, factor uh, and statement that I saw in the presentation uh, was about the oil as a key factor in the production chain. Well, we all know how oil is important uh, and how uh, oil is part of pretty, pretty much everything we do and consume. Now, this has uh, major repercussions uh, in, in, our, in our daily lives if, uh, if you consider that there is a scarcity of oil and that there are very few alternatives at this point in time. We're going to, we're going to see through these slides, uh, through my slides as well, uh, what are the uh, issues related to that. Now, at this point, I'd like to pretty much answer, start the presentation by answering the question, which is the topic of, of, uh, of this event. Uh, a near via oil prices. So I would state it's a definite big yes. And why is that? So we just uh, previously uh, mentioned that we're going through a peak oil at this point. Now, Petrobras has, has released uh, in 2010 a new study uh, that points out that peak oil happened already in 2010, last year. What, what is peak oil? What, really, uh, what, what does that really mean? Now, peak oil is basically scarcity. Basically, it's the point in time in which, uh, from this point on, demand either stays stable or goes up, uh, but in comparison to demand supply, uh, just decreases or goes down. Now, if you look into a few numbers, uh, you're going to see that supply uh, is expected actually to decline from over 8 million bars a day, between 50 and 60 million bars a day by early, by as early as 2020. Now that's 10 years, uh, less than 10 years from now. And business as usual demand projects uh, increase uh, of between 90 million to 100 million virus per day by 2020. Now what that in fact points out, and, and if you look into uh, several studies, and there is a, a, a study which shows even from Wood McKenzie uh, released uh, recently, points branch, which could be happening already in 2012 or 2013 pretty soon. 